What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance War Season 22. And this is the first war we up against Sensu. And this was a very sick war. Or was I sick? Anyways, it's either I was sick during this war or it's a sick war. Or both. But anyways, we're going in with a normal team of Ghost, Hood, and Wasp. I was asked to not bring in Hood and bring in Magic. But there's a Domino later. And I need to make sure I can phase through a special 3. So yeah. We're assigned to Path 1 and then Path 7. Path 1, there's a Phoenix, and I was really not wanting to do this fight, because I don't like any champion that has a double medium, and her second medium is a double medium, and it's hard to phase through it. So you'll see when I go through the fight that it's it's quite annoying. Um, it's a rank 3, rank 3 Phoenix, and it's, I believe, SIG 80. So yeah, that's definitely a, a prestige rank up. Um, and then we'll be up against some other fun fights. There'll be that Mysterio on a Critting Stun, Domino... And the Ebony Maul, which would be a Wasp fight. And it's always fun to not use Ghost in a fight, because obviously Ghost cannot do that fight at all. And there are some mini-bosses that I do want to take. But again, I'm not feeling well during this whole war. And I'm just resting and just... Probably not smart for me to take some fights. Like, I took a break from some fights because I was feeling fuzzy. And I was waiting until I felt better. But anyways, on to the fights. We are boosting up. Now, last season, I did use a lot of big boosts, but the difficulty of my fights is about a 4 today. A domino fight, maybe a 7, but most of my fights are pretty simple. So, I'm not boosting up super much. Right, super much. But enough that if I do get hit, I'll be okay. Um, I am planning on <laughs> not getting hit. Now, I scoot back there. Because I wanted to not have her throw a double medium into me. And look at the intercept to start off this war season. The intercept was so good. I can't believe how good I am. Now, I did duel a Phoenix. Not that like it's needed because Phoenix is a really easy champion to fight against. But with Vigorous Assault, where anytime that she's regenning, she's unblockable. Um, I was a bit worried, but I knew not to throw a special tube here. Because if it killed her and she goes into the Rise of Phoenix, she goes basically unstoppable. And then she'll just retaliate and hit me. So I need to throw a special 3 only, not a special 2. Um, I did test it out during a duel. And again, if I threw a special 2 and she went into the Rise of Phoenix, basically I'd do no damage and she would retaliate against me and basically do some good damage. So I'm baiting special 1s here a lot. It's a very easy special to bait out and to dodge. She goes into the Rise of Phoenix. I'm making sure that I don't hit her during it because she's unstoppable and basically you can basically miss any time. I'm only facing one hit of hers, as you can see, and she is down. I'm at 100%. Perfect fight for the first fight. Perfect fight. Now, this Mojo. And I did ask that we send a Quick user here or um, a Human Torch user, but the officer said that Ghost is the best. I know Ghost can do this easily, and he's not a stubborn defender. There is masochism, and it's not that hard of a fight. My goal here is to get to a special 2 before he even gets any specials, and I don't know why I took a blocked hit there. Honestly, I shouldn't have taken Black Tether, but I'm already degening. Luckily, with the Hood Synergy, I can um tank all that degen that he's doing on me. Because he already has two haters. I don't know how he has that many on him. Um, I don't know why I'm blocking. I guess I'm trying to make sure he doesn't throw a special against me. And I guess there must have been a dash back. But he's down. I lost 4% health. And on to the next fight. Next fight is a Black Widow Clairvoyant. It is on the Strike Counter Fury node. And I wanted to take it noted. Now that node, what it does, it's, it's, um, it gets her to a special one quicker. And I wanted to get her to a special one quicker, over and over, so that I can, um, as you can see, power focus one, so that I can bait special ones and convert any bleeds into poisons or into furies right away, over and over until she's dead. And I don't think she even throws any specials in this fight. Um, and also, I didn't want her to get to any special two or three. Not that she was going to. With Mystic Dispersion, she probably could easily. But it's a very simple fight. She already had a special one after five hits. And I don't know why I took a parry there, but any all my hits aren't doing anything at all. It's special like to destroy her. And that's all my fights for section one. And then I take a little rest, took a nap, and woke up for section two. Now the mini boss for encroaching stun, Mysterio, was originally planned to someone who had a magic. But I think Ghost destroys that fight a lot better. I don't know why magic would be good besides making it so he doesn't ever throw a special. But magic specials are quick, so it's not very good for encroaching stun. Ghost has a long special 1 and a long special 2. So I'm boosting up here. I'm going to take the next three fights in a row on the same boosts. 
And then in the last two fights, I'm going to do an instructor boost, mainly for that Ebony Maul fight, because I know that with kinetic transference, he can easily get to a special three. But uh, throwing a 150 tech boost, it's very useful in this fight. You'll see exactly why. Um, although, I probably didn't need it, actually, because this fight has power reserve. Both champions get 50% power back after throwing a special, which is bad for him throwing a special, because I didn't want him to throw a special one. Um... Now, Mysterio is a good placement here because if you throw a special one, you don't want to hit him and don't want to throw a special, but also because you can't quake him at all. I'm doing light attacks here just so I can get the special two before you get to a special. I'm watching the encroaching stun timer. It's whittling down. I'm like, crap. I should have waited, but I couldn't. I couldn't wait. Uh, but look at that timer. The timer is ending. I need to make sure this finishes him off or I'm screwed. Or maybe it'll give me enough for a special one after. Honestly, uh, when this killed him, I was pretty surprised. I'm like, dude, I didn't think that special three was going to kill him. But I guess all the boosts were helping. All right, on to path seven, where there's a domino on spite and power from afar. So anytime that she scoots back and has a good distance, she will gain power. Anytime that I have a buff on me, she gains power from spite. Now, my goal here was to destroy her with one special two. I throw an inbound boost just in case I am unable to phase through her special three. And yeah, it's not that hard of a fight. It's just really depending on your phase to make sure that I phase and to make sure that I get the parries that I want. Now, the phase, I'm actually getting some phases, which is nice. I just never expect to always get those. I didn't even get the parry there because it failed. She died a special two, basically. I'm like, crap, I need to make sure I get my special here. Now, I took a block hit there on purpose. I was almost at a special two. So I took a block hit to get to a special two and threw my special two once I was there. While I was baiting her heavy. Which I thought was a very smart tactic. Um, and she got to a special 3. But luckily I killed her then. Now this Ebony Maul fight is pretty fun. He is a stubborn defender. He's like the only stubborn defender I've fought this whole war. Um, but yeah. It's time to bring out Wasp. I do still have suicides on. Which does always worry me. Because I don't want to turn off suicides for one fight in war. If I was doing a full Wasp war. Then sure. No suicides. But it worries me because it is a lot of health. And if he degens me, I can easily die from a lot of degen. Um, I'm going to turn off his focus here by just throwing a heavy attack. He's at a special one already. I'm trying to bait it out, but he's not He's not baiting. There he goes. He throws it. He puts a deterioration on me. Now, he can convert that deterioration and that fury into a degen on me if I do it wrong. Now, he's basically at a special two because that fury ended and he has missing dispersion. Pretty smart. Gonna throw my heavy attack here. I have an indestructible boost. Luckily, have one. Because if I didn't, I'd be screwed here. I knew that he'd get to a special three because I did this same exact fight last season. And he got to a special three. It was pretty hard to get to my special before he got to his. But he throws it. Indestructible boost saves me. He takes away all my power because that's what his special does. He's basically dead. All I gotta do here is just, like I said, do another heavy attack and he's done. And luckily, that was my last fight of the war. There was a Doom fight after this for Power of far, power From Afar and Connect Transference. I thought about taking it with Ghost. I thought about it because it's only 142,000 health. It's a rank 3 undo Dr. Doom, but I ended up not taking it because we had someone with a magic take it. Although I think Ghost might be a better choice as long as I can get to a special before he gets to his and I can rinse my specials. I probably could have taken it. But I saw one I opened was still up and I thought that's a bad idea because if I parry him and stun him, I don't want to take that damage back. Anyways, we had six fights this war, zero deaths. We ended up winning this war. I woke up past the time after the war was over. Now, there were some mini bosses up that I wanted to take, but I decided to just sleep because it wasn't assigned to me. Um, everyone did a great job. This war was very close. It was nine deaths to ten deaths. We only had nine versus our ten. Last season, they got, I believe, seven deaths versus our two. So it was not as strong as we were last season against Sensu, but I'll say that we did pretty good. I'm very proud of everybody in my alliance and my battle group. You guys kicked butt. Now, to next war, this is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.